Angela has never made a dessert with so many components before. Creating the caramel pools will be her biggest challenge. Ready? Yeah. You're on the pumpkin soup. Okay. But this is no ordinary soup starter. The pumpkin will be prepared two ways, crushed and roasted, and as a velvety truffled soup. It will be served with a raviolo filled with confit rabbit and chicken mousse, topped with a warm goat's cheese foam and drops of pumpkin oil. The key to this dish is nothing should dominate. So you should know this big, loud noise of truffle oil or pumpkin or, or goat's cheese it needs to be balanced. Huge pressure, I think, to kick off the meal because, you know, pasta dough, it's really tricky. And the mousse and, the, and rabbit, I, I don't think it's simple at all. Ping begins her complex dish by confying the rabbit for the ravioli stuffing. The temperature has to be around 80 degrees, so it's just trying to hold it at that temperature so that it cooks uh, nicely and not overcook the rabbits. Angela's food has triumphed in flavour, but she struggles to make it look good. She will be in charge of the first dessert. It's delicious. She must expertly execute a salt and almond ice cream with an aerated chocolate foam, a cardamom caramel, chocolate cookie crumbs and a chocolate caramel pull. Three or four, maybe five elements onto the plate, that's all, but each one of them is crucial to get right. You know, the texture of the ice cream is important, the balance of cardamom in the caramel, um, and the pull is important. Yeah. Really uh, this, important. This, I mean, I don't even know... I don't even know where to start with that. That's like... Wow. I, can help, I can help you with that. Okay. I can help you with that. Angela's most pressing task is to start her salt and almond ice cream. When you put the salt into the ice cream, make sure you taste it as it's infusing, because it'll get stronger and yeah. stronger. And if you let it get too strong, it'll be too salty, and it'll over-dominate. OK. A bit like having too much salt on nuts. Yeah. It's too, too much, much is not good. good. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Some are really making good headway into the mise en place, the preparation. Some, I think, are just a bit flustered. With the ice cream, the most important thing needs to be in, cooked, chilled, and then churned to be ready for service. So I'd say the 20, 30 minutes behind on both ice creams. Angela, have I seen a dessert from you? I do like eating them. I just don't cook many of them, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I do today. You do too. Well, you better. <laughs> you better. I know one chef is going to be very angry with you. Yeah, yeah. I. It'll be right. With her pasta finally resting, Ping starts work on the two pumpkin elements, the roasted crushed pumpkin that her ravioli will sit on, and the pumpkin and truffle soup that will surround it. How's that? I don't want it to be too salty. Beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Ping now has 25 minutes till service. This is the silkiest I've ever had it, ever. While you're doing that, walk me through. Soup, done. Soup, done. Foam, done. Done. Crushed pumpkin. Done. Pan on for these raviolis. Uh, pan on, yes. Perfect. This is beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. It's great. Well done. Right. The first course is pumpkin soup, raviolo of rabbit, and goat's cheese foam. So you've got six raviolis. Yep. None of them can break. Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. I think 
goes. Go, go. You confident? Yep. You should be. Yep. Raviolo is very posh. It's the singular of ravioli. You just get the one. <laughs> just in case you were hoping for more. Well, hey, hey! Happy? Yes. Happy. Really, really happy. So what's next then? Goat cheese fun. <laughs> Sorry! Do you know, Pink? Before this, I had you earmarked for a oh, place oh. in the next round. Stop. Stop. Pumpkin oil, quickly, pumpkin oil, pumpkin oil. <laughs> Last one. Well done. Good job, Pink. Well done. How'd you find that? It's good. It's very good. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Pumpkin's a beautiful colour. Presentation seems to be everything these days, and uh, this one they've got absolutely right, I think. My soup's got drops of blood in it, I think. Do you think that's the blood of Anne Boleyn? Very yummy. Mm. Well, I haven't eaten rabbit for 60 years because my dad used to sell them in his butcher shop, and I just think of rabbits and bones, endless bones. This is perfection. I'm converted to eating rabbits again. The goat's cheese foam is quite salty, but I think it's very clever the way it's been balanced with other flavours, like very sweet with the pumpkin. Well, I think this is jolly good. I mean, the thing you can do with ravioli is you can have the outside pasta being a complete mush. And actually, it still had a bit of texture. It was still very nice. I, you know, if, I, if I'd cooked this, I would be delighted. Angela has never made a dessert with so many components before. Creating the caramel pools will be her biggest challenge. Ready? Yeah. Go on, keep going. It's too bit thick. No, it's fine. I've never done anything like this before. It's amazing. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. Salt and almond ice cream, it's yummy. With aerated chocolate cardamom caramel, yummy. Cookie crumbs. That's it. Sounds promising. Perfect. Okay, Bertie. Come on, Ange, what's the matter with you? We've seen you do beautiful presentation before, haven't we? No. No. Bit more, bit more. Good, stop. Mmm. Yep. I love a bit of goo. Sounds like an angry pirate. Done. Good done. Done. Well done. Thank you. Well done. This reminds me of a Salvador Dali work of art. It's beautiful. I'm almost reluctant to eat it. I want to eat it because it looks very tasty. I was dubious, I was slightly full, and I thought this is going to be a heavy, you know, heavy nut to crack, but it wasn't, it was absolutely gorgeous. Mm. It sounds a bit pretentious to use the word regarding food, but it was quite exciting. <laughs> the more I think about it, now that I've finished it, sadly, um, I rather wish there was some more. Yes. I've eaten wonderfully tonight, but this is the one that I want the recipe for. I think when I taste this, I've died and gone to heaven. Mm. 
gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous.